what would you say was your biggest loss so yeah. this is something as an option buyer you needed to be aware this is a big lesson then what i decided that actually at least for expiry yeah and the third type of losses that is very very interesting that is what made me what i am today in trading in delhi again for yet another traders carnival in fact this is my fourth or fifth traders carnival and as always i'm super excited to trade live on stage in front of a lot of people to interact with all my fellow traders so super excited looking forward to all that and as always i'm taking you all along with me also but this time we are planning something really different ajay and me will be going around meeting other top traders of india and will be asking them their biggest losses let's hear their biggest loss making story so i hope that will be something very different in this time traders carnival super excited let's get inside Sharik just said we are at the Leela Hotel here for the Traders Carnival event and very excited for the live trading expiry session tomorrow. Today we had started off with amazing sessions from notable names like IT Jagan, Asit Barinpati, Scalper Shiva and many many more. So in this video the thing that we want to tackle with the vlog because for every vlog we try to provide some value along with some entertainment so in this video we would like to kind of understand or ask people about their biggest losses in their trading career and these are not just people these are top traders from the industry who are managing funds worth uh, 50 or even hundreds of crores So let's talk to them in this video and learn more about their trading journeys. So as traders something that I've seen uh, even including myself and Sharik uh, whenever we see whenever we see profits on the screen on our broker's dashboard we get very confident we get filled with pride and uh, that is a good thing up to a certain point but then the losses are actually what bring you back to reality. So this losses I believe are the ones that teach you the most not just the profits so that is what i want to learn from all these top traders in india what they learned from their actual loss making journeys what they learned from their actual biggest losses in their career so let's not waste any time let's get right into the video so we have the scalper shiva here who is the founder of oi pulse a really wonderful platform i have to say Thank and uh, the topic that we were kind of discussing today everyone likes to talk about profits True. i mean it's a good thing right True. and we also get that pride when we get a profit exactly. but whenever our trade goes into loss that's when we actually learn a lot of things True. i feel True. so what would you say was your biggest loss again this is just for the title okay. and what was your biggest learning from it that's what okay. i'm more interested the in biggest loss i think i have shared it in few platforms uh-huh. there was one particular day wherein like i was so egoistic and arrogant with my position all along the market was falling in that particular month and i was okay. expecting that is an expiry day mm-hmm. and i was expecting the market to go up in the second half okay. so in the morning uh, i was having in position size of like in close to 20 lakhs on the option buying okay so once it started falling i felt like okay somewhere down the line it is going to like an average and then move up higher yeah. what i did is i kept on averaging my position without even realizing i was adding more and more position by around like in 1231 from 200 it came to almost 40 50 rupees and uh, like and i was having in position up to like in 48 50 lakhs okay without even realizing i was adding more so much yeah then i was getting hope still my average was somewhere around 100 120 and i was getting hope that it may but unfortunately the whole day it didn't play out okay. and it is during the like in, we had that uh, like a monthly expiries at that time we didn't add the weekly yeah. expiries so by end of the day my loss was close to 99% it was done oh. i tried to book my losses around when it was around 4 or 5 rupees or 10 rupees max okay so that is my biggest loss so it was to 40 40 48 to 949 lakhs the reason Absolute why i covered my position is one lakh i needed for the brokerage and nothing at that time <laughs> yeah. so i thought let me not add any more we will cover this position and then we'll get the brokerage covered yeah but uh, like in in hindsight when i look at it the sellers would have been so happy on that day because they know Anyway, we are going to be taking the market like in uh, lower and lower. This yeah. guy is buying a call, and the price is on the premium. I am going to be eating up everything, and he is keep on buying it. So yeah. this is something as an option buyer you needed to be aware. Don't try to go fight against the market trend. 
always try to go with the trend and then like and uh, make money and then get out of it. Yeah, something, keep a stop loss. Well. Something that uh, sir always says is go with the trend. Go with the Your trend. two candle three yes. theory, the super trend, uh, crossover, uh, yes. what we learned today. Yes. Right? Everything is going with the trend. So as an option buyer, I think. Because that is the biggest mistake yeah. I was doing it. Once we are going against it, we think that somewhere the market is going to take a support and then move it higher and nothing. It doesn't. Yeah. If it is moving higher, go with the move. If it is moving lower, go with the move. Rather than waiting and choosing that, no, 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 I will do a contra trade. That is the biggest mistake. Yeah. And I think as we grow, you know, our, sometimes we still continue to make yes, mistakes. Yes, we will make mistakes. Yeah. But that is part of the game. From that point also, we will learn something. True. And with this bit and bits of learning, we will hopefully, you know, make a good long-term PNL is what I understand. Absolutely. Yeah. That is something which you guys needed to do it. Mistakes bound to happen, but don't try to like and bog down scale like and uh, get up and then you learn from the mistakes and then keep, don't try to repeat them that's the most important one see when people talk about the stock market especially yeah. the trainers and mentors yeah. they talk about only the profits yeah because that is the uh, bright side of it yeah but if you look at the stock market as a whole uh, usually losses are much more than the profit maybe 95 percent of the people are booking losses even the winning traders they are booking a lot of losses yeah and I personally would have booked uh, more losses huh. than the 99% of the traders. Huh. Because That's true. it is not that, okay, I straight away made the money or every trade I make money, right? I make money, I lose money. There are multiple losing trades for me also. Yeah. So losses, like you said, right, uh, like you rightly said, they are teaching us much, much, much more than the profit. Yeah. Because when you, when you make profit, you are on the air and you're, you're like out of the world. You are the king in this world. Yeah, that's But so. when, you, when you make losses, you realize that okay there are a lot many things that I need to learn so I generally ca generally categorize the losses into three types the first one it is my mistake I make okay. mistake even now I make mistake I repeat mistake even now I repeat mistake but what I do is what I try to do is I try to make less number of mistakes I try to reduce the frequency of the repetition of the mistakes okay so those two things I try uh, doing when when I face a loss because of my mistake mm. so that is one kind of loss okay and the second kind of loss uh, which is you follow a certain setup you uh, follow multiple you look into multiple uh, things and you take a trade yeah you follow your strategy you stick onto the trade certain times it, it ends up in the profit and certain times it, it ends yeah. up in the loss I mean market decides that market uh, decides sometimes that. it's just it's a of part of the control. probability yeah, let's say let's game. let's say my setup is giving me like 80 percent probability yeah that means 20 percent of the time I will have yeah, to you, book the loss you will have to, that's yeah. a part of trade yeah so today was not a good day for me mm -hmm. it was uh, means uh, most of the day I was in profit but mm -hmm. end of the day I had to book loss yeah because uh, but that happens right uh, and a lot of people correct you know uh, uh, people who see or judge other traders, yeah. e even they don't get that mindset. If they post one loss screenshot, yeah. they'll think like, okay, this guy is making full loss. But yeah. losses is part of trading actually. And today's loss, I absolutely don't have any regret because mm -hmm. I followed what I do. I did what I what gave me good amount of profit multiple times. Mm -hmm. So the losses are part of it. Yeah. So probably if the trade would have worked, I would have made maybe 10 times of what I lost in yeah. the trade. So those trades are part of the trading and it, it is good. Yeah. And the third type of losses, that is very, very interesting. That is what made me what I am today in trading. Okay. So that is the new learning because mm -hmm. you are not somebody who knows everything about the market yeah. or everything about the trading. So certain times, it, it may not be my mistake. It may not be a part of the probability, but there will be some unknown factors yeah. which you find out in hindsight. Yeah. Once, the, once the market is closed, you go back to the chart, you look, go back to the data, you analyze your trades and you find out, okay, there are these hidden elements, mm -hmm. which I didn't notice. Yeah. If I noticed that, I would have uh, taken uh, this trade in a different way and I would have made the money. Yeah, but, and from that point, you understand, Correct. okay, this concept is there or this is something I should look at. Yes. And from there, you can yes. take better trades. So, right? what I do is, on such situations, I have the trading journal, mm -hmm. I note it down with complete details. I just mentioned, okay, these are the factors I overlooked, okay, this is how it was, if I had looked into this particular thing I could have approached this way yeah. and I make a complete note and very frequently maybe once in a week or once in a month or frequently go back to I go back and read such nice. things and there are multiple instances mm. such reading and such notes help me uh, to make money in the future because there is one setup which gave me huge loss in one day mm -hmm. maybe uh, I made a note of it yeah. then uh, uh, in future similar situation occurred and 
I made money. And mm. it is not that, okay, it, it, it repeats one time. Maybe once in every uh, couple of months, it keeps repeating. Yeah. But Today, then, then yeah. you remember, especially yes. writing yes. it down actually helps. And everything. losing, that will be only one or two times. Yeah. But if you learn from that, winning will actually last as long as the market is there. That kind of pattern repeats uh, in future. That's true. A risk part, so when you say loss, let me redefine the question, the risk part, okay, so the risk part, there are two parts, okay, one is a systematic risk, another yeah. one is unsystematic risk, and unsystematic risk is the one actually you have in the strategy issue, okay, so yeah. you have a drawdown, two person or one person, you are in a drawdown of, so that way, uh, maybe one, two person, one person like that, we had a drawdown of 10 percent so far, okay, that part, okay. this is unsystematic risk, okay, okay. systematic risk, there's something beyond your control. Okay? Mm. So some broker server is not working. Yeah. yeah exchange is not working. Yeah. So, so something we had a glitch. Okay. Yeah. In such a cases, uh, one day actually exchange had a glitch and the trading is stopped. Whatever the stop losses we put in the server, it has been. It removed. will get washed out. Yeah. yeah. Washed out. In such a cases, we had a eight percent drawdown. Okay. One day. One eight day. Percent loss. Yeah. Big loss. And this is a big lesson. Then what I decided that actually at least for expiry, so we buy the hedge. Yeah. So that so Makes that sense. if there is because expiry we are running a huge leverage. Yeah. Okay. And thus when I say leverage, what I meant is sell and then buy the hedge, take more lots. Okay. Yeah. So so all of the day we are not taking that much leverage. For expiry day, we also buy the hedge so that even for some reasons the exchange is closed and there is a black span event, your losses will be less than 20% of your capital. Yeah. So that is to limit point. the loss, I think if you keep a hedge of 150 points. 30% uh, is the max loss on that side. If you have both call and put, then it becomes 15%. Right. right. So you keep a hedge of around 100 points always on expiry. 100 Not 100 points. Okay. See, we sell a call, we sell a put, right? Yeah. So, so depends on the premium. So sometimes we keep a hedge uh, 1000 points away, 700 oh, points okay, away, 500 okay, okay. points away. That's more than enough. Because to carry or to protect against black swan events. Black swan events. Yes. Okay, purely. Nice. That's a good perspective, uh, how the one and only IT Jagan handles, uh, you know, systematic uh, risks risk. such as this. I think that's a very good insight. So we thought we'll ask Sharik also about his biggest loss trade and what was his biggest lesson from that loss as well. Yeah. So yeah, Sharik, over to you. Absolutely. Which trade, when and what did you learn from right. it? Uh, I hope you've been asking others as well yeah. and it has been going really well it till now. It went amazing, right? Yeah, so my story is uh, actually, I wouldn't say very interesting, but it's something that is there up for grabs, a lot of learning there, right? Because it's always said a very famous saying in the market, right? Option sellers eat like an elephant and shit, sorry, eat like a an and and shit like an elephant. It's said like that. Yeah. Means options in option selling, you might be making consistent but small profits, but when you lose, you can lose big, right? Yeah. So that actually happened with me. I uh -huh. actually shat, I'm not sure if shat is the word, <laughs> but anyways, uh, like an elephant, right? Yeah. So this was back in uh, 2021, I think August, okay. September. I hope you remember oh, yeah. that. I do remember 16, that. Right. Breakout. Yeah, I was also there with you <laughs> on that trade. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Obviously, uh, it was a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, Nifty was at 15,900. And Tuesday is when I normally enter my postal trade side. Yeah. So I had some call sell, I think it was 16,200, 300, whatever. I had a call sell, right? Then from there, from Tuesday, 15,900, Nifty actually moved up on Tuesday, mm -hmm. on Wednesday, and Thursday, and went up till 16,500 by Thursday expiry. Which is the 600, yeah, yeah. 600 points move in three days. Uh, so what happened is the first day itself, because mm -hmm. on Tuesday from 15900, it actually broke out 16,000 went till 16,100. Yeah. I already took an SL in my call cell. Yep. Then thinking that okay, such a large move has already happened, I again sold a call. Huh. Then it went up the next day again yeah. book loss. Yeah, people will comment down below. Gamblers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe something to that extent. Yeah. Right. And and after getting SL on that, I again sold a call. And okay. Thursday it went up again. Mm. And many a times I actually did not book my SL also properly. Okay. So yeah, because of that I lost nearly 
10 percentage of my capital. Oh, yeah. that's huge. That, that was huge. That was and I guess many of you here, the viewers here, uh -huh. know what Charik's capital is. So you yeah. can approximate. Uh, but but this huh. was back in uh, 2021 that oh, time. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, the, it's not as big as the current capital. But I'd say. Uh, I mean, maybe you should tell the figure as well. Right? Huh. It was slightly uh, north of uh, 15 lakhs. Oh. Yeah, so it was uh, even about 10 percentage actually. Uh -huh. So yeah, it was a hard, day, hard day, hard week for sure. But again, lessons, right? Yeah. Uh, so I wouldn't say hitting SLs multiple time on calls was absolutely bad. But mm. my larger learning is on all calls where loss was booked, I did not actually get out when SL was in. Yeah. I waited a bit more, a bit more. Uh -huh. So that kind of killed me more. Otherwise, I think, I mean, it would have been an under 5 percentage loss and that's absolutely acceptable. Yeah. I'd say that. I yeah. mean, that sort of a move, it's not every, even every quarter that you see Correct. such a move. Correct. So, so yeah, yeah, so uh, given that, so even if you lose 5 percentage huh. on such crazy moves, I think it's fine. So, uh, like, you look, look at my trading style, right? So I am a non-directional seller. I always have calls and puts sold. Uh, so it's okay, right? So and I and I try to make one to three percentage now. As you can see in all the live trading sessions that we do on every Thursday uh, on the channel, right? We make one to two percentage on expiry day alone. So all weeks are one to two, three, one to three percentage profit. Yeah. So on a loss making week, the only endeavor is to limit the loss between one to two percentage. Mm. In that case, it's fine. Makes and sense. if there is a very large, uncontrollable, unforeseen event, then maybe lose up to even 5 percentage, even yeah. that is fine. But don't lose 10 percentage. <laughs> yeah, I mean that year ended in huge profits. Oh yeah, 50 percentage is this what I made year, last year. This year is also in huge oh, profits. Yeah. I think yeah. you have a streak running, right? Oh, right. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I think it's been near, more than 12 expiries. Mm. On Nifty expiry, I've been mean only expiries. making profits. So, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, your biggest learning from that is that yeah, so to have rules is uh -huh. one thing and I think a lot of people have rules, but to okay. stick to the rules. Oh yeah. Yeah, the, the SL rule is something which I did not really follow, right? So yeah. always say, oh, SL, I waited a bit and loss increased even bit more and that's where I exit. Yeah. yeah, so great learning there. Once you have a system, once you know your SL, stick to it, right? Yeah. Why? A risk more than that. And you, don't uh, be in the hope of market would come down or come in your favour. Yeah. Don't live in hope. And yeah. uh, actually sometimes it may work that way. Yeah. Right? Maybe 50% or even more than that it could work that way. Yeah. But the times it goes wrong, Correct. it could go wrong big. And uh, that's a really great learning for all our viewers. I guess the viewers also got a lot of uh, amazing insights into uh, how big traders think. Right. And especially from, you know, people like IT Jagan, uh, scalper Shiva, I mean mm. these are huge names in the right, industry. Right. So this quick and short video just yeah. became a very insightful educational video yeah. along with a mini vlog maybe. Yeah, so that was the whole purpose right. When we were thinking about anyways you know that we are attending a lot of event, events nowadays and again there are events coming up as well. So we thought uh, anyways we need to show you what's happening here what normally happens in an event. Uh, at the same time we wanted to deliver some educational value also. I hope Ajay has uh, covered it really well. I hope you've learned something uh, in this video right. And that's what we try to do right. I hope you're watching the stock market A to Z stock market market uh, master class that we do on this channel so make sure you watch all those videos you can learn everything about the stock market I mean absolutely everything regarding trading right so and again one thing about this carnival is mm. so I think this is my uh, again fourth or fifth carnival and yeah. all the time I've been trading live on stage and Every time I've been making profits. Yep. So this time also, when I was getting on the stage, I was a bit apprehensive. <laughs> I want to maintain that streak. And as I said, I'm already, yeah. I was already in a streak. So I really want to continue the streak. So yeah. really happy making uh, 2.75 lakhs uh, on stage with just 1.25 percentage profit. So that's nice. And also given this uh, week, uh, Finifty expiry was really nice for me. So even that day, I made 2 percentage, 5 lakh rupees profit. So huh. a good week overall. Yep. Yeah, sure. So time to party at the market field <laughs> crew here. So. Yep. Let's sign off. Yes. I think so that's it. So this is Ajay Ajit signing off. And Sharisham Sudhain. See you in the next video. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.